What is going on guys? We're back with another video in the Chargers Legacy Franchise. This is a user online franchise and we are a 4-1 team going against the Cleveland Browns. You know, maybe last year that would be like a, hey, Cleveland's easy to beat. But this year, their team is actually very good and they actually make it to the playoffs almost every sim I do. So definitely a decent roster going against uh, a potential AFC playoff favorite. And uh, of course, we have to re-sign uh, Terrell Williams, but Tyrell does not want to rejoin us. You can also see... Miles Garrett coming off of a very successful, I believe, six-sack game. Denzel Ward, a baller. I would trade Casey Award for Denzel in a heartbeat. Casey's insane. Top five corner in the league. However, he's also top five players to die of old age in the league. Really not, but old is the name. Retirement is soon his game. First and ten, Duke Johnson out the backfield. Good throw. Nice little move on Trevor Williams. Already to about midfield, which is not really what I planned. Over here, we see a little bit of pressure. You know, more of a coverage sack. Bosa brings him down. It is going to be a third and 17. A very, you know, not manageable, but manageable for us. And look at the pressure again. Melvin Ingram gets his first. Bosa already had his first. Defensive line looking great. You <laughs> know, One sack for each superstar playmaker on the D-line. And here comes Melvin Gordon. Gets a nice little five-yard handoff. After a first down pass, he will be first and 10 from the 31-yard line. And here we see A late. Don't see him, though, because, you know, the pressure and his user was kind of close. We end up throwing this away, which will be an intentional grounding. Third and 22. Standing tough in the pocket, rolling out when we need to. Keenan Allen gets some moves. Going to be about five to six yards short. However, that was a really good play. We are able to punt it down to you know, under his 20-yard line. Not a bad punt at all. And here's the pancakes. Uh-oh, Duke's got a convoy. This isn't good. He tries to spin, makes a move. Lots of good moves. However, you can't pass me up. Mr. Prevention is what they call me. And uh, so far, lots of teenage pregnancies have been averted. I'm Dr. I don't even know, man. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Third and 19. Really good play. And speaking of really good plays, an amazing first down there. Late progression. Hits his man. And that's a really good conversion on third down. Inside, Denzel Perriman, the linebacker, getting a sack now. Who isn't going to get pressure on this line? Third and 17, though. Another third down and long converted. This time to the tight end, Njoku. First and goal, rolling to the left. Inside, could have been picked. And after two drop picks, almost tipped right to Gordon for a touchdown. Thankfully, it did not get caught. Second and goal now inside. Another sack. Joey Bosa, two and a half. I love it. Third and goal from the 10. Can the defensive line get some pressure? Can the coverage make a play? And they can. Jatavis Brown sticks his hand out there, gets the pick. Seven yard line is going to be rough, but another stop on the play. And uh oh, a free rush. I don't know what the hell happened. The right tackle just let him come in untouched. And the first points of the game is a safety. So it is two to zero. Where's my pick? Jesus, where's the pick there? I thought I had that, and I just, I don't know what it was. They didn't give it to me. Third and 10. Can we make the stop outside? A little short, and he gets it just barely. Back to about midfield. Maybe the last play of the first quarter coming in here. It's going to be another play action, and there's the free rush from Derwin James, the rookie. The man I want to get going more. It's going to be second 18 to start out the third, or the third, the second quarter. And there goes Melvin. Trying to catch up to Bosa. Two sacks for him. Two and a half for Bosa. One for Derwin. One for Denzel. It's only the start of the second. What is the druggage we are using? Third and 27 from the 47 now. Once again, that number just perfect. And uh, of course, it will lead to a punt. And Tyrell Williams out of the backfield. Wide open. Bad angle taken by him. And bad angle taken by his AI. And that's going to be a 69-yard touchdown. That is... Insane. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, other than maybe the Keenan Allen run we had, do not expect stuff like that. Oh, my Lord. Got beat. I believe that was Casey, actually. That's really embarrassing for any of the corners, really. You get beat by Josh Gordon like that. But like I was trying to say, besides the Keenan Allen, oh, my God. Besides the Keenan Allen play, that run on the first game for 80, I don't think we're going to see more of a fluky touchdown than that. Second or third and 23, a lot of pressing, a lot of bump and run. And Melvin Ingram gets number four, and it's only middle of the second. That's crazy. Inside, Tyrell Williams 
really uh, really starting to get some plays going. I mean, that's probably almost 100 yards already, which is crazy to think, but it probably is. Um, Gordon inside gets about 9.5 yards. I mean, most things are working for us so far. Second and inches, and Melvin Gordon, I could have taken the outside lane, but I went straight for the first down, and we did get it. Potentially last play before two-minute warning. Tyrell Williams, now that definitely gets him over 100. Brissett has missed only one throw this entire game, which is crazy. Stepping up in the pocket, look at the throw. Left a little bit too much on it, and uh, his safety was able to recover. Thankfully, he went for the swat, but it looked like he actually had a score there. And Keenan, perfect throw, great catch, great route, down to the four-yard line. Second to go, about a minute left in the second. And here, Tyrell Williams is going to get the end around this time. And look at the play. That is an amazing spin for a touchdown. The same similar kind of concept. And he scores two different ways on it. And Casey Hayward getting burned. Did get the swat out, luckily. Don't know if that was Callaway, whoever the hell it was. Third and six, we get the lag. I mean, wouldn't be a me game without lagging a few times. And his guy looked like he might have had a chance to catch it. Was someone draped on him, but definitely a catchable ball. First and 10 inside with 20 seconds left, but a huge play to, I don't even know if it was Mike or Tyrell, but either way, at least to the midfield. Second and 10 here, looking for someone open. We see why Tyrell Williams is open, but as soon as I throw it, he comes back to the ball, but the big man jumps over the pick, tips it to himself and catches it, but of course, it would pretty much go for nothing, so start of the second half, Melvin Gordon has the ball. Once again, his angles, I mean, I almost ran right by him. Unfortunately, I uh, did not have the agility to to really get that going. And look at this throw. A little over, and Tyrell gets popped. Cannot hold on to it. Did not expect him to catch something like that. That's crazy. Inside, really good, like, kind of pick play almost. And uh, it just does not happen on the cornerback aspect. Do you see Corey Legit get injured? Hopefully it's nothing big. Hopefully nothing at all, really. To the outside, and Joku, I believe, gets the play, and he's starting to get on the field. You know, it's only the start of the second half, really. Nothing, you know, there's plenty of time for things to happen. He's got his guy open again, and Joku going to get about half the yards back after the holding penalty. Third and 11 from the 40-yard line. Another play action looking kind of deep. Derwin gets the pick, and Derwin, look at the truck, just blows through I believe Duke Johnson and he's gonna get his first ever career pick six if I'm not mistaken I mean, I'm assuming he didn't get one before and that is a great great uh, bonus on his career this game and boom barely got that ball out and Derwin has a sack he has a pick six can we get anything more who damn knows defense has been insane oh my lord look at Melvin he's gone from 77 yards out, oh, what a run. I do not know how DVD has not pulled his hair out from this game because if we're being honest, there are some animations that have absolutely killed him. Absolutely killed him. I know we all face him, but Jesus, it's brutal to watch some of these. At the end of the day, really the biggest animation that's killing him is the fact that our D-line is making some plays well, there's an animation that helps him. Holy crap, Casey Hayward just got mossed by Njoku. But yeah, the D-line's really, you know, disrupting the game quite a bit. And that's really, in my opinion, what's happening. And speaking of animations, wow. I tried to pick it up with Derwin. And as much as it would have pained me, I would not have returned that. In my mind, I, uh, I always just thought to go down. And here we do end up punted to him. So, you know, he's going to start a little bit further back. But I feel like it was the right thing to give the ball back because that's just ridiculous. I don't know what the hell that anime. You know, fair enough. The other ones, they can happen. Things happen, but that should have never, that last one, the one, the fumble basically should never have happened. However, maybe he doesn't want the ball back because Joku just got hurt blocking someone. Hopefully it's nothing big, but I don't know. That's, injuries are rough and they can always be big. And so far we do not see what the actual injury was, uh, but it is going to be a third and four underneath. Keenan Allen gets the first down and first and 10 from the 38 yard line. Eckler getting the ball and whoo, look at that move inside. He gets about five yards. Second to five after that run from the 43. Eckler going to get another shot with it. And look at Eckler bouncing off of a player. Tries to strip us and Eckler trying to get all the way down the field. Look at Eckler make some moves. Really good running from Eckler. 
in the limited time he's played. And McGuire's super slow self still gains about nine yards. Running game starting to develop kind of nicely. Third and one, Eckler again. Who almost to the end zone. Nice little run there. First and 10 from the 21 yard line. I mean, this game is pretty much wrapped up, especially with the way we're running. Look at this. Eckler not going to try to score. Definitely not going to try to get hit. Third and goal for the 16 yard line, running a fullback dive. And even that kind of gets some room all the way down to the four with the fullback. Up 31 to five right now. About the two minute warning. And looking downfield, he is. And that is a really good following down the field user by us with Jatavis. And that would end the game. And sadly for him, the, well, it actually wouldn't end the game. I thought it would. But uh, sadly for him, that Njoka injury was an upper arm fracture, which is usually huge. Speaking of huge, the game for Melvin, who has five sacks. Unbelievable here. Look at that. Just absolutely bullied. Third and 20 now. One, you know, a couple of plays left in the game. Trying to get some pressure with the DT. Cannot do it to the outside, and that probably would have been picked. Luckily, it was a little high for him. Fourth and 20, 420, YOLO, Swaggins. Last play officially, more than likely anyways, down the field. No need to pick it. Going to be the sportsman about it and swat it, even though our guy tried to pick it off the tip. And it was a very good game for us. Defensively, we were, we were very solid. I mean, we came with a couple of blitzes. Uh, we trusted the corners downfield, which, to be honest, they kind of got beat a little bit, but... You know, they, they did an okay job recovering from time to time. But, yeah, that pass rush was brutal this game. Absolutely insane. Offensively, there was really not much we did wrong. I would say maybe uh, throwing the ball a little bit sooner, hitting the first read instead of waiting for the second and third. As we get, you know, we kind of blew a couple opportunities. And yardage-wise, really didn't, you know, do too well on him, if we're being honest, considering we won by quite a bit. Yards per carry was decent, though, and four takeaways, which is huge. You know, the yardage and touchdowns, not super great for Brissett. Uh, but we did get a nice 100-yard rushing game with Melvin Gordon, which is kind of rare to see. I like to see it. It's pretty nice every once in a while to have a nice rushing attack. Receiving Tyrell and Njoku both go over 100. Sadly, once again, his player is out for the season, which really does suck. I mean, it wasn't my intention. I didn't hit him with a hit stick or anything and really in this league I haven't even really gone for hit sticks for the most part I've been just conservatively tackling I just feel like it's better than taking a risk on a hit stick anyways picks Jatavis with two one for Derwin sack for Derwin five sacks for Melvin I believe uh, Bosa had two and a half an amazing defensive performance and that will wrap up week six I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching next week is the Titans then of course we have a bye week and yeah, if there's anyone we should try to trade for, say it soon because that deadline's getting close. But anyways, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!